All right, I'm going to show you how to set up the safety pin app through uh, IFTTT. So you're going to download IFTTT through the App Store, and you can see the app in the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to click that, scroll past some of these tutorial pages, and get to the sign-in. Uh, you can sign in with Google, Facebook, or create an account. We're going to do Google. It's going to ask if you want to go to Google. Hit continue. And I use a secondary account. Uh, I'm going to use a junk account for to show you. Okay, we're in. So uh, we have an account now. We're going to go down to search. And type in safety pin. There it is. Click that and click turn on. Okay, these are the settings. Um, we're going to input our, our contact number on the to address bar that we have set up uh, in the tutorial page of on my site if, uh, if you need to find out how to do that. Um, click save. It's going to tell us we need to set up a widget. Click not now. Um, then we're going to go back to the search page and it's going to, uh, we're going to do safety pin again and then scroll down to I'm safe. And we're going to click turn on. Um, same thing in the to address line, we're going to paste the exact same contact that we put in the previous one and click save. So now we've got both of those set up, um, one to say we're in trouble, one to say we're safe, and now let's set up some easy access buttons. So when you're in your home screen, you're going to pull to the right and get to um, today view. Um, I have them right there, but to change them around, you go down to edit, um, hit the edit button, and you can see all these here. So if I didn't have IFTT, you'd scroll down, find IFTTT, click the green plus button. It's going to appear up here and we're going to hold the three bars there on the right and pull it up to the top and click done. So now at the top we should see IFTTT and safety pin button and I'm safe button. So give them a try and make sure they work before you need them and yeah I hope this helped.